Welcome to the Maths Made Easy tutorial on the probability basics. This is a third video on this topic, so we're looking at a couple more skills in this video. Uh, okay, so the first one is listing outcomes. Uh, so let's say I've got two spinners here, and I spin them both, and I want to add up uh, the outcomes of both. Uh, so I can draw a table uh, to represent the possible outcomes here. Uh, so if along the top we have spinner one, uh, let's say that's the one on the left and the one on the right is spinner two. Uh, so I can have either one, two, three, four, or five for each one. So we can put them as the heading. So one, two, three, four, and five. And the same uh, down the other side. So I've got one, two, three, four, and five. Now I can list all the possible outcomes. So remember I'm adding uh, the outcomes of both uh, into this grid here. So if I make this into a grid, like so, Okay, so all I'd have to do then is uh, fill out each of these boxes, adding up the two values. So 1 plus 1 would be 2, 2 plus 1 is 3, and so on on this row. Uh, so I'd have 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 on this row. And then for the next bit, I'd have 2 plus 2, and so on. Uh, so I'm not going to bother filling out the rest of the table, uh, but this, uh, this type of methodology is known as listing the outcomes, or exhausting all the possible outcomes. Uh, so essentially all you're doing is listing all the possible ways that something can happen. So moving on then, uh, the last skill that we'll look at is the product rule. So suppose I want to know the total number of outcomes. Now I could uh, do the grid again as I did in the previous example, uh, but there's a much simpler way of doing it. Uh, so uh, if I look at the spinner on the left, so that was spinner 1, the one on the right is spinner 2. Um, so if I want to know the total number of outcomes, I can total up the number of outcomes for spinner 1, and that is 5. And uh, that's because there's just numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Uh, so that's the same for spinner 2, uh, because they're identical spinners. Uh, so uh, in order to get the total number of outcomes, all I have to do is multiply the number of outcomes for spinner 1 by the number of outcomes for spinner 2. Uh, so the total number of outcomes is just 5 times 5, uh, which equals 25. If we go back to our grid in the previous question, uh, you can see that that's a 5 by 5 grid. Uh, so that's this bit inside here. And if you count 5 along and 5 down, uh, you'll see that that's a 5 by 5 grid, which is 25 squares. So the total number of outcomes is 25. So if you feel ready to tackle some probability questions, then why not have a go at our online exam? It's available through our revision platform, and if you take the test, you'll find loads of different questions, a variety of different question types, and you get instant feedback on all of them. So you can keep track of your progress, find out where you need to improve, and so on. So if you're interested, then click the link below, it will take you straight over there.